We have the Minister for Industries, Archaeology and Thermoculture with us. Thank you so much for speaking with us, sir. Today in the Assembly, the Chief Minister spoke about Purunai civilization. Can you give us a small introduction about that? Sir, Purunai civilization is a very ancient civilization of uh, the state. Uh, there are a lot of uh, archaeologically important sites along the river uh, Tamraburni, which is also known as uh, Purunai. Some important excavations have already been carried out in the banks of uh, river uh, Tamraburni. Uh, one such excavation is uh, Sivagalai excavations, in addition to the Adi Channel Road excavation, which is quite uh, popular. This uh, uh, Sivagalai excavations have really come out with uh, very uh, authentic and uh, scientific uh, evidences with respect to the uh, dating of the civilization which existed uh, along the river of the uh, river Tamaraburani. This civilization was called as Purunai civilization and this dates back to some 3200 years back from the current uh, year, which means uh, it, uh, it is about 12th century BC. So this is one significant uh, discovery and this has been ably supported by the evidences we have now obtained from the laboratory in Miami which is called as uh, Beta Analytics Laboratory. Uh, we found some rice barrens inside the urn utensils in the, during the excavations and this was sent to the American laboratory for further uh, investigations. So they have done proper uh, uh, research and investigations about it and now they have come up uh, with their uh, findings. These findings are quite uh, amazing findings and uh, this is uh, ably supported by, uh, as I have told this, scientific data. And now they have zeroed down to the dating of uh, 12th century BC, which is 3000. So we can straight away say that our civilization which existed uh, along the river uh, Tamraburni is quite as, as old as um, any other uh, great civilization across the globe. Uh, so this, uh, as on date, I can uh, confidently say that this civilization is some 3,200 years uh, old and this has been proved by scientific methods. Uh, similarly, the Chief Minister also drew parallel between the Purunai civilization and the Ganges civilization. Uh, any reason behind it? See, there is, uh, I can still say that um, this is a civilization which is not, a, there was a, a kind of um, uh, saying that the Tamil civilization is much later. It is not so. Actually, it is older than the civilization which existed in the Gangetic Plains during the uh, 6th century. And there were a lot of uh, evidences. The Gangetic civilization is something similar to the civilization which existed in Keladi. Keladi is now, it dates back to the 6th century BC. And we have got a lot of similarities. Uh, the um, uh, Panchmok uh, coin which we had unearthed uh, from the excavation site or the blackware um, uh, pot, portraits, which we uh, took it from uh, the Kiladi site. It stands testimony to the fact that this uh, civilization is something similar to that. And this uh, Purunai civilization is quite older than what uh, what is uh, now found in Kiladi. Even though the Chief Minister was talking about Purunai civilization and the importance to bring out the uh, ancient history and such, uh, opposition seems to be a little not happy with the Chief Minister saying that this could even rewrite the history of this Indian subcontinent. It has to be rewritten. It has always been reiterated that the history of India should have been written from the uh, banks of Kaveri than uh, having sorted from the banks of uh, river Ganges. So now it is the time for us to stand up and tell the entire world that Tamil has, has got a distinct uh, civilization which is quite older than any other civilization and this dates back to some 3200 years old and uh, ours is a civilization which we are not dependent on anything. The Tamili, the oldest uh, written form of Tamili is uh, not, uh, it's not a language or it's not a written form which was derived from some other language. It has gone its own original formation and the community which existed during that time, they were, uh, uh, they have, the literacy rate was very high. They were uh, culturally, they were very well, literary literacy, they, they was at the highest uh, level. So these are all the findings.
Well, considering the history of DMK, I would like relating back to the anti-Hindi agitation and now the Chief Minister's statement, is DMK prepared to face any kind of friction with the centre or any opposition in this matter? Because already DMK has been denoted as anti-Hindi and now BJP claims DMK to be even anti-Hindu. Do you agree with it? How do you want to face it? No, 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 no. This is not uh, related to anything with respect to your religion or any relationship with the center. This is purely our cultural heritage, the pride we take uh, in the antiquity of our uh, civilization and our language. So this has got nothing to do with uh, religion, in fact, because we have not found anything with, uh, which is related to religions during the excavations. So I am very clear that this is not a friction with the central government or this is not a friction with any other religion or any other belief system or any other civilization. We take pride on our own uh, identity, on our own civilization. So nothing to do with others. Also earlier now, uh, when the, the Chief Minister said this and about uh, uh, be it Kiradi, Adi Chennallur or now Purnay civilization also, uh, any specific reason that DMK is uh, showing much interest and how has the centre been helpful? Because earlier when DMK was opposition, uh, there was a contention claiming that uh, the centre was not providing enough support for uh, Kiradi or any other, in, uh, I mean, uh, archaeological uh, uh, sites. Sir, uh, yes, the excavations were, so, in fact, it was stopped by the Union government at one point of time. It was the government of Tamil Nadu which took it further uh, forward. This government, led by our Chief Minister, uh, Talabadi M.K. Stalin, is very keen to take this uh, further uh, uh, forward. And we have been providing all kinds of uh, support and assistance, be it um, in, terms of in, in terms of budget allocations or in terms of administrative support. Our Chief Minister is very keen and he is very supportive. He wants these excavations to be continued. And that is why we are now planning to go in for more number of excavations, not only in the state, but also offshore also. Hypothetically, if it is proved that uh, uh, be it a poor civilization or the entire Tamil civilization, Tamil civilization is uh, from the subcontinent and much older, how is it DMK going to take forward? It has been proved. This, see, it is our, we are the government, we have now placed it before the intellectual world, placed it before the world, uh, saying that, look, this is the dates we have got uh, after a study from the laboratory, and we will st uh, still say that our uh, civilization is quite ancient one, and we, will, we have proved it, and we take pride in it. And for the common man in one line, how, why is DMK showing much interest behind uh, uh, these excavations and bringing out the uh, ancient secrets about the Tamil culture? It is the DMK which is adding glory to the Tamil language whenever it is in power. Be it in our power or when we sit in opposition, we continue to work for the uh, development of Tamil and we are committed to this and this is an opportunity when we are in power also we take pride in establishing the truth that the Tamil civilization and the Tamil antiquity is quite older and it's been proved scientifically and we take pride and it is our duty also. Thank you so much, sir. So the uh, minister here has very clearly mentioned that it is about a matter of pride and duty to bring out or unearth the truth about the Tamil civilization, and that is why DMK is showing specific interest in the archaeological sites in Tamil Nadu. With Virginia Divian, Pramod Madhav, for India Today.